An epic trip of 4x4s from the Guazulu Natal Midlands all the way to the mountain kingdom of Lesotho. The Duzi to Sunny trip starts in the Guazulu Natal's capital, Pitamaritsberg, and then there's a bit of a stop in Underberg at the Dr. Nkosazana Lamine Zuma municipality. <laughs> It's here that there was some fun with Zulu cultural entertainers. If you are here, it's only 29 kilometers to Lesotho, which means most of people would like to come up here to enjoy the life in the southern Frankensberg area. The toughest part of the journey happened here. This is Sunny Pass on the southern Drakensberg. The difficult road through the mountains connects South Africa and Lesotho. The Zulus call these mountains Okatlamba, which means a barrier of spears. This is because they think it looks like a shield, only made out of spears. As you can see, the views, you know, they are just out of this world. And it actually gets better as we go higher. So we've got lots of hiking trails which are clearly marked. And of course the Bushman paintings, yeah. Um, which is also another reason why these mountains were declared a World Heritage Site. Because of that culture which comes from the, uh, the, the sand people, yeah. As the cars navigated through the tough Okashamba, some couldn't make it. I've walked this road before and thought that was difficult, but nothing quite like this. The last time I did the routes between the South African border and the Lesotho border, we were hiking up this road, but now we are doing it with the 4x4s. One of the cars is actually stuck down the road, which means even if you do have a 4x4, it's not an easy route to take, but it's absolutely incredible. And when you go up and as the route changes and as the road goes down the hill and up the hill, it's, it's an amazing task and you should actually try it. As we constantly stopped to look down at the road we travelled, the views were majestic and with all the sharp curves, turns and rocks. As we entered Lesotho, we were greeted by this, the highest pub in Africa. Part of the doozy to sunny experience brings you here to the highest pub in Africa. It's only a pit stop on the edge of South Africa and Lesotho. It's really high and you get to see these rolling hills that are behind me. Our 4x4 trip takes us here. This is the village of Mokotlung. <laughs> We get to show the people our culture, Basutu culture, so they get to see the Basutu dances. And again, they have to taste the Basutu food, mainly the bread. And then on the homestays, they experience more of which they get to taste more even the Basutu porridge and the babi, which is made from the maize meal. The women who live here showcase their culture whenever tourists visit. They bake bread and sell it. They make crafts and even allow tourists to spend a night in their homes to see how they really live. This particular village in Mahapung has been turned into a cultural village where you can come and sleep a night in order for you to experience local Basutu culture. You can also get to experience a bit of traditional singing and dancing as well as eat some traditional food. <laughs> Doze to Sunny program uh, is about uh, promoting previously disadvantaged uh, uh, business operators because we highlight uh, destinations, we highlight uh, pro, uh, businesses, small businesses uh, like your township tourism in Peter Marisbeck, uh, even in Underbeck, your crafters, uh, small businesses who showcase their products because these are guys who are, who are trying to, 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 to bring them into uh, the, the, the mainstream. The 4x4 is the only way to fully experience the Duzi to Sunny route. Other types of vehicles would not cope in parts. In the places they do cope, the experience just won't be as exciting. <laughs> 